So Sonia has asked me to try and describe um, some of the things that uh, I've done around data and so we had a really interesting conversation in preparation for making the video just about the struggle that it is because we're lucky in this district we do have a ton of data at our disposal and we have a department devoted to helping us figure out what it means um, but there is so much and it takes a lot of time and it takes practice and protocols and to make it a truly effective process. And so one of the things that she asked me to share about was a time when um, I asked for some help uh, figuring out the effectiveness of a program um, that we were trying and um, I was collecting data uh, with uh, focus groups and student surveys so I had a lot of um, perception data but what I really wanted was to triangulate that with uh, some test score data so we thought we could use an EOC score and um, see if it had any implications for students that took this program versus students that didn't and what we discovered was that there was no impact on their test scores and of course I was crestfallen when I discovered this because I was expecting it to be um, a, a great, great proof that uh, this program was effective and I've got all this data to back it up, but my test scores didn't show it. And so in conversations with data and accountability, they helped me realize that sometimes the data doesn't really say what you think it says. And so in this situation, it really wasn't that the program was ineffective, is that the, the, the two test scores just don't correlate. Just one just doesn't predict for the other. And um, in a deeper conversation, realized that there, there was a lot more to it. And so that was a real big aha moment for me, um, just digging really deeply into what the data truly means. Sometimes I've seen staff at my school see data and then they'll go straight to solutions. And we've got to deal with that in-between stuff of what is this data really truly saying and so utilizing some protocols to kind of help unpack that. And thankfully, um, the, the school that I have inherited has a great culture for that and processes in place so the staff is used to it. Um, but it's funny, sometimes they still want to go straight to solutions when we really still have to figure out root causes. And um, that's been an interesting thing to observe. But um, given the time um, and the right protocols, I think we'll, we'll really make some headway. And I'm looking forward to doing this with my staff.